What's up everybody, it's Alex here from Good Karma, and we're back for another YouTube video working on the EF sedan again. Um, in the last video, we broke the PCV valve when we were putting the intake back together. We are making a lot of progress on putting the intake back together, but things are old and we've been... Every time you work on something, another something breaks. You know, it's been tiny pieces, vacuum lines, things like that. Grommets, whatever it may be, and then I gotta buy a part, wait a week. You know, we've been in a cycle of doing that. So, last week it was the PCV valve that we had the pleasure of breaking. Um, but we got this cool piece. It's a fancy OEM Honda one. Almost like it was meant for the SI. Because it's red. Um, the original one that I had in there, I believe it was original, um, or OEM, was not red. It was just all black. So, I thought this was kind of a cool piece. Um, OEM Honda piece, that is. Now, I don't know if you can hear it, but it does PCV valve things, so that's very good. And then second here we have the, hopefully the correct grommet for it as well, which slides right into the top of the intake manifold. So let's open this guy up and see what we're working with. Oh yeah, that looks, looks like it's gonna go in there. Just need a little bit of lubrication. Um, so yeah, that's what we're working with today. Also, we would like to, I showed this in the last video, we'd like to try to get this pan gasket on today. But we're going to see how the day goes and uh, how far we, we get, pretty much. This is the EF. Here it is, like usual, in its resting place. But it is good to see the engine starting to get together. So, just when I thought the piece of view was going to be extremely easy. Um, we got a new hose here on this end, but the bottom of this is big. Only fits this size hose. But the little guy that we replaced going into the oil separator fits this size hose. So we don't have an OEM like step down hose or anything like that. So what we are doing is the smaller one kind of slips into here. Like so. And you can give it a good shove. So we're going to try that. And that's kind of going to be our uh, our step down. All right, so we came upon another thing. This piece uh, is not right. It does not fit in the intake manifold. So we had these injector uh, O-rings laying around. It fit in there pretty good. We kind of had to force it with this. A little bit of lube. It's in there. So that, along with the combination of our step hose that we made here, it is finally connected to the oil separator. And now we got it coming up through the hole it's in. All right. So now we got the injectors in, the fuel rail in, all the connectors on for the injectors. Um, bunch of vacuum lines are connected. We're looking pretty good up here. We're, we're almost there. Almost done. We need nuts for the throttle body. Yep. And we're going to put the throttle cable on. Yep. And we also have to get this line. We gotta figure out where that one is. I think it just hosed to here. It like right? Yeah, this was definitely for intake. Was it? One of them was. Or at least. I wish I could set this up and just let it run while you did this, but I guess I'll just hold it. Maybe do a little time lapse this time. Mm hmm. Just trying not to get it in the holes. Nothing better than converting to a four speed. Converting to an LS. One thing you want to keep a car hot. Oh, so I've done on like all my cars. What? What she's doing right now. Which is? Like sound at me and uh, oh. Oh. and uh, like the heat, keep the heat in. I've been wanting to do that on the SI with the subs. I want to like do the. What's going on, guys? It's Alex here, and we got the E36 running for the first time since H2O, pretty much. Um, the car had a bad vacuum leak, and we figured it out basically. Uh, 
there was a line for there was a line coming off of near the fuel filter area, and um, it came it comes up to the manifold, and uh, at the manifold side the line was broken, so we replaced it. Now this thing's running great. Sounds good. We had to jump start it, but not bad. We gotta lower this rear a little bit, but the car's looking pretty nice. The front lip's broken, and we lost a fog light. Um, we'll have to redo that. Maybe our like 100 loyal followers who have seen the video where we cut the front lip, remember? Yep. Where we made our own custom front lip, basically, from the, it was like a Mark II uh, GTI lip or a Mark III GTI lip or something, but yeah. it's only like 30 bucks. So we'll get another one of those and cut that guy out and put it on. And we need that fog light. I have the fog light. We just got to put that in. But it's good to have this car running. It, it's been a while. Um, we do have an update on the EF as well, actually, which we'll have to explain in a second. But see if this thing got warm yet. Yeah, it's getting there. Check control lights on. We gotta fuck with the brake lights. Nothing new there. <laughs> we gotta get a door panel on that door. So on the other side of the ball here, we have the EF. As you can see, we got her jacked up pretty good up in the air, the front end. And that was because we were about ready to replace the oil pan gasket today. Because it's kind of been leaking for a while. And then, when we got under here, we realized that right here at the um, half shaft seal, it's leaking oil pretty good. And it's a brand new oil because it's a fresh oil change and it's just dripping it. So we didn't want to replace the pan while it's leaking oil that much. It, it clearly needs a gasket, pan gasket pretty badly as well. It's the Onaka half shaft by the way. But so we're, what we'd like to do, we're gonna replace that seal then replace the oil pan, put fresh oil in it, and hopefully she'll be able to hold all of its oil. So, this thing's gonna sit up on jack stands for a week until we get the part, but the seal is ordered. 